G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. Today I've come back to this creek that I um, I went to uh, about a week ago now, I was here. I didn't do any, any panning in this creek, I saw where all the rocks were piled up behind me here from the old timers, they must have been uh, prospecting in this creek and they've thrown up all these rocks on the bank so that they could get to the the bedrock and get to the gold in the bottom of this creek. So um, so that's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm just all I'm going to do is do some test pans around this creek, around this area here, and maybe a few other spots along this creek, and just see if I can find a, a speck or two of gold. Because um, I think they did a bit of work here on this corner, so they must have got something in their pan to warrant um, them to do so much work. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'll set this up because I've already dug out. I've filled up a pan. So I'll just set this up. I did one pan earlier. Um, quite a bit of black sand, but I couldn't see any specks of gold. So, and that was just off the surface. So what I'm going to do when I do the sampling, I'm going to be digging down. I'm going to try and get right down to the bottom. Because if there's any gold here, it's going to be right down the bottom. It's going to be down deep. So I don't know if there's a rocky a rocky bedrock here or if it's just a, a clay layer. So if I dig down to a clay layer, that'll be good because that'll tell me that's as far as the gold's going to travel. Okay guys, I'll just come up there and show you. See if we can get a speck of gold. I'm using the bigger pan today so I can so I can um, put more volume in the pan. As you can see there, there's black sand there but the sun's not right up yet anyway so I can't really tell. If there's anything in there. If there is any gold in there, it'd be really super fine. So what I'll do is I'll continue to dig down. I'll, I'll punch right down till I hit the clay or until I hit a heap of cobblestones and then I'll take another sample. Okay, I've dug in another spot around the corner here and I'll pan this one out and see how we go. It's all, all gravels here, just loads and loads of gravels, quartz, ironstone, I think it's um, quartzite, yeah, all in there. I'll pan this out, see how we go. Haven't seen anything so far, 
Now this is uh, this is about my third pan here, so nothing so far. Good amounts of black sand, but uh, no gold. I'll do, a, I'll do a few pans here where I am. If I don't do any good, I'll go down the creek a bit further, try another spot. Let's see how we go with this one guys, see if I can show you as a speck of gold. No, it doesn't look like it, nothing. Okay, I'll try and dig, I might dig this corner out and see, see how far I can go down. Okay, I've just dug a sample or a pan full where the shovel is now. With that shovel sitting below those rocks on the other side of the bend, I've just taken a sample out of there. And I'll pan it out and see how we go. So far, nothing. Plenty of quartz. Quartz. Red Jasper. Yeah, it's all in here, but where's the gold? I still haven't gone really deep yet. Um, I'm hitting rocks, hitting big rocks down below, but I, I can't get through them. Maybe if I go and try another spot along the creek, I might be able to get to the clay. If I can dig down to the clay, that's going to tell me if there's gold here or not because the gold won't sink any further than the clay sitting on the bottom of the creek. Okay, let's have a look. Let's put this out there a bit. I'm getting reasonable black sand. There's a bit of mica floating around there. Thought it was a bit of gold. Just a bit of mica. But uh, no. 
Can't see anything in there in that black sand. Oh well, I'll try another couple of spots. Okay, I've just dug another pan full, or well, the second pan. I did one pan just there where the shovel is and didn't do any good. So I dug down deeper and some of the gravel was red. It's got orangey red colour to it, so that might be good. But it, it's actually um, seems easier digging just there. So whether it's just a heap of, of gravel that's just deposited there, maybe that's why it's so easy to dig. No, I don't know. Anyway, there's the bend there, comes around, I took a sample there, my, la my last samples were in this area, just below that rock pile, and I've moved along onto this straight, this is a straight stretch, just a short straight stretch, like um, it's in a nest bend, anyway, Pan this one out, see if we're doing any good. That's all we can do, guys. All we can do is just keep test panning. Test, test, test. Pan's full. That's a good that's a good decent pan there. Seems to be um, a good amount of black sand here where I'm digging, so you would think if there was any gold here in the creek, it would be where with the black sand. So I'm getting black sand, but I can't see any gold. So it, it mightn't be any good, it might be just another place I can um, strike off the list. But that's all right, I've got, there's plenty more creeks around here. To, to go and test. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's have a look, see if we can get any gold out of this lot. As I said before in my other videos, all I want to see when I'm out prospecting like this with a pan, is just get one or two specks in the pan. Just so you know that there's gold in the area. But uh, no, I can't see anything, nothing in there. Nothing. Okay guys, I'll do some more um, digging in different spots okay I've dug down in the same spot I dug down way down over the depth of the of the shovel head I'm about a foot oh yeah about a foot and a half down 18 inches down so I'll see what I get out of this one if I don't do any good out of this one I'll go and look for another spot along the creek Yeah, so far nothing guys, so I'm starting to think this might be just a, a, a goldless creek, I think. But I don't, I don't understand why the old boys did the rock stack. 
maybe they did get one or two specks so they put in the work to see if see if it was any better on the uh, on the bedrock obviously it didn't get any good so they moved on but it's all right it's all good I'll get out of the house come out here have a look around have a play that's what it's all about guys and it's, it's it's even better if you find a piece of gold that just sort of tops off your day for you but oh well if you don't find any you don't find any at least there's no leeches there's not a single leech in this creek I'll say that now all of a sudden I'll, I'll probably see some Okay guys, let's have a look. Yeah. That's our gander. Let's see if we can get get in the black sand in there, but yeah. Not even much black sand in this pan. And I've got down a fair way. No, I'll have a look under the jeweler's loop, but I haven't been seeing any, any um, gold even under the jeweler's loop. Nothing. Okay, guys, I'll carry on. Okay, that's where I was sampling before, and then I did a couple of pans just there, and now I've moved around the creek, followed the creek around. You go through like a, an S bend. And then just over here, on this corner, there's a pile of rocks here, a pile of rounded river stones, all here on this bend, all the river stones there in the creek, and the creek just goes up there and goes around a corner again. It just, um, the creek just snakes its way through this paddock. Yeah, so anyway, I'll have a, I'll dig a hole here and have a test pan here. Okay, I've dug another pan pull out of that corner, and uh, the first pan I did out of there, I've got nothing. So I'll do this pan, and see how we go. If I don't do any good in this pan, well, I can give it away. Well, here anyway, because um, the amount of pans I've done in this section, if there was gold here, I would have at least a speck or two in the pan. But because I'm not finding anything, that's telling me there's no gold here. If there was, or if there is, it's only very small, very small amount. So that's all right. I can go and look, look at another creek. Check another one out. It was worth coming back here simply because the old timers have worked here. They'd had a look anyway. Okay guys, let's have a look, eh? Let's have a look here. See if we've got any gold. I wouldn't put any bets on it.
I can see some fine specks in there, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have a look under the jewelers loop and just see if there is gold or I did see some shiny bits in my pan a while ago and I ran the magnet over it and it picked them up so it must have been metal off my shovel and that's what these little shiny bits could be so anyway I'll let you know Okay, I've come to a different area guys, there's, there's a bit of a water hole just there, so I've got some water to, to pan in, and just here, check this out, that's decomposed granite, and it's all eroding and washing down into the creek, and I'll just show you something up here, where my shovel is, Can you see those little quartz stringer veins? Quartz stringer veins. That's what carries your gold. Your little veins. Yeah, and they're all through this decomposed granite. I'll just show you with the shovel. Look at that. It's breaking away. That's all, that's a this here, you can see the granite here, the rock, and here, that's all granite, and it's old granite, it's all breaking down, and um, yeah, and it washing down, down below into this creek, so I'll come up here and I'll, I'll take a few test, uh, test samples from here, and pan it out and see See if I can get any gold here. Okay guys, let's see, I'll just set you up so you can see me panning, see if we can get any gold here. This will be enough, this is another creek, and um, I didn't know about this, this spot, I just happened to be driving along, and I saw the, the uh, rusty, yellowy orange material, so I thought I'd come over and just have a look, and that's what it is decomposed granite We might get nothing, we might get something.
Okay, I'll bring it up and I'll show you. Okay, hope you can see there. Can't see anything there. There are some some shiny specks in the pan, but I don't know. I'll do another pan. I'll get back to you guys. This is my third sample. I've taken three samples along the along the face of this um, decomposed granite, and and the second pan, I think I saw a couple of specks of gold with the jeweler's loop. So what I've done, I've snuffled it up. I'll take it home, same hole and put it under the microscope. So this will be the last pan that I'll do in the granite. Where this rock is here, I might take a sample from behind this big rock and um, just see if I can get anything there. It's lucky that I've got uh, a good puddle of water here, so I can pan it out, otherwise I would have had to take it home. And I'd rather do it out here than, than take it all home and, and do it there. Obviously in the summertime when there's no water out here, I've got to take the samples home and pan it out. In the winter, when I get the, when we get the rains here, it's good. Okay, let's see if we can get a, a decent speck so we can see it. As I said, those specks, uh, a couple of specks that I saw in that last pan, it was sort of, they were in the black sand, they were, um, they were very small, you could only see them with a jaw loop, you couldn't see them with a the naked eye. Same again here, I can see some specks there, but uh, I don't know if it's gold or what it is. Okay guys, I'll do one more pan, I'm going to do a pan behind this rock, and then we might call it quits. Okay guys, that's it, um, I'm done and dusted, didn't find anything, maybe under the microscope you might see a couple of little specks, maybe from that um, decomposed granite, that's about it, yeah, um, that's about all I've got to say, sorry, my apologies for not finding any good gold, but I've eliminated a couple of more places, a couple of more spots, so I've got to go back to Rocky Creek, I've got to go back there, jump that barbed wire fence and do that, do that, and then I might go back to some old, some old workings and maybe take some rock samples and um, crush and pan, yeah, I might go back and do some, something like that. Okay guys, thanks again for watching and supporting my channel, I appreciate you all. Oh dear, I've got a bit of a workout today. Take care out there, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.